Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ben and Ned, and for today's video, we are going to be doing a skin update. Today we'll be talking about hydroquinone. This is a product that I've added into my skincare routine as of three months now. Um, so I wanted to tell you guys about hydroquinone as an ingredient, tell you how it's been working on my skin and how I've been using it specifically to treat some of my hyperpigmentation. So disclaimer, before we start, I'm not a medical provider. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a dermatologist, I'm not an esthetician. If you're using any kind of prescription high percentage ingredient on your skin, you should definitely be consulting with a dermatologist because it's very easy to use these types of products wrong and it could end up causing more harm to your skin than you started out with. So I was prescribed the Hydroquinone USP 4%. Hydroquinone is a skin bleaching cream. It is typically used to treat melasma, which as we know, it's when you have some dark patches or spots on your face or other areas of your body. Melasma can be due to hormonal changes during pregnancy from sun exposure. It's also used to treat age spots. So if you have some darker age spots, maybe from sun exposure, it can be used to treat that as well. For me, I'm mostly using it because I have acne. I have very acne prone skin. When I have hormonal breakouts, Breakouts, they tend to flare up and then I'm left with a dark spot sometimes those dark spots fade over time on their own um, but a lot of the times they stay and they stay for a very long time when I had a lot of acne in my teenage years and I wasn't using sunscreens back then which made them even worse I think it ended up leaving me with sort of like a a band of hyperpigmentation it's kind of everywhere it was everywhere on my face and it did used to be a lot worse but as I've been using tretinoin and other acne products to treat some of that it's gone away but I found that I still had a lot of dark spots specifically in this area and most of the time people were like are you wearing contour it looks like a natural contour but no those are all dark hyperpigmentation spots from when I had a lot of acne in that area so my dermatologist recommended hydroquinone to kind of treat some of those really really stubborn areas that are not healing up from just using tretinoin or applying my sunscreen on its own and allowing them to fade so the way hydroquinone works is that it blocks the process in the skin that leads to discoloration and it is a tyrosinase inhibitor. So it's working to prevent some of those cells that are going to produce an excess amount of melanin which is what's causing the hyperpigmentation. I personally have been using it more as a spot treatment and that is what my dermatologist recommended. So I do not use it all over my face. I really only use it in this area. So my doctor recommended a 4% hydroquinone. They do offer them in higher percentages and I would say be careful with that especially if you are if you have more sensitive skin and I would definitely say you should get hydroquinone as a prescription and avoid picking up products that you're using over the counter. Um, those products aren't as regulated as something that you would get from a prescription. Some of the common side effects that occur with the misuse or just general use with hydroquinone if, you're, if your skin doesn't like it is some people develop rashes, itching, swelling, and those are typically from allergic reactions. Other people have some skin cracking. For me personally, it did make my skin feel a little bit more drying, but I didn't experience the cracking. And then one of the major side effects that you can get with hydroquinone if you're using it for a long period of time with no breaks is you may experience some blue black darkening of the skin and you don't want this this is really hard to come back from if your skin does turn into this it's really hard to treat some people do also experience like a halo effect so if they put it on a dark spot that spot may become lighter but then the skin around it also becomes lighter because this is a skin bleaching cream so there's a potential for that as well. Now I'm going to show you guys how I use this and how I incorporate it into my skincare routine and then I'll show you some before and after pictures so that you can see a little bit of my results that I've been having. So the way that my dermatologist recommended that I use this, she said to use it for two to three months max and then take a month to two month break and then start using it again. And the reason for that break is to make sure that I'm not having some of those adverse side effects like the blue 
blackening, darkening of the skin that sometimes happens with prolonged use. So she wants me to use it once a day for those two to three months, take a one to two month break and then start again. The reason she said to do it only once a day is because I have pretty sensitive skin. Um, some people are able to use it morning and night. I personally cannot tolerate that. So I've only been using it at night once a day and that's been working for me. Basically the way that I use it at night is that I take off my makeup. If I need to use a cleansing balm, I'll use that and then I go ahead and wash my face like normal. And then I am using tretinoin still alongside the hydroquinone. So I use my tretinoin every other night and I use my hydroquinone every night. So um, if I am wearing tretinoin, I tend to apply that first, let it sit in for a little bit, and then I apply the hydroquinone on top of it, and then I add a moisturizer. Basically, if I have tretinoin on, it would go tretinoin, then hydroquinone, and if I am only doing hydroquinone, that would be first, and then the rest of my hydrating, moisturizing, ingredients. If you have any questions on that, leave it down in the comment section below and I'll try to clarify a little bit more. Um, so that's what I'm doing every night and then in the morning, make sure you are wearing your sunscreen. You guys know I am a huge advocate for people wearing their sunscreen, but if you are using any sort of actives or if you have hyperpigmentation, if you have acne, you should be using sunscreen. And especially if you're using hydroquinone, you need to be using sunscreen because your skin is going to be a little bit more sensitive. And if the point of you using this is to clear some of your dark spots, it doesn't make sense for you to go out into the sun, get more sun exposure, and then those dark spots get worse. I wanna show you some of my results. Keep in mind, this is the first time I'm using this product. I'm only using it once a day instead of twice a day. And it's only been three months. So when I started out, this is my before pictures, kind of how it's looking. I'm gonna try to insert different lightings because this is when I first started, what my skin's looking like, and this is what it looks like three months later. Personally, I don't think I see a huge difference. It's very minor. The one spot on the right side of my face used to be a little bit more darker, and I feel like that has lightened up a little bit but as far as the spots on my cheeks, I don't know if they've necessarily lightened personally. I don't think I've seen a, a huge difference there. Um, but again, this is the first time I'm using this and from my research, it seems like this product takes a little bit of time to start working, especially if you're only using it once a day like me. This is what my skin's looking like today. If you wanna see, the lighting is a little bit bright so you may not be able to see it as much, but right here, there is one little dark spot, and I feel like before it was a little wider, and then here is where I usually get most of my hyperpigmentation. And then on this side, can you guys see? You can kind of see it here. There's like a dark patch here that has been there for forever, um, and right here. And I think overall it, it has gotten a little bit lighter, but it's definitely still there. Can you guys see that? So my plan with the hydroquinone is to continue to use it. I am going to take my one to two month break right now, so I won't be using it for the next month or two, and then I'm gonna restart again, and I will give you guys an update once I've restarted and I get to the end of that three month period, um, just to see if it's made more of a difference or if you know my hyperpigmentation came back during the time that I'm off I really don't know what's gonna happen with that so I'll keep you guys updated if you've had an experience with this you liked it let me know if you tried it and it wasn't for you also let us know down in the comment section below and that'll be all for today's video I'll see you guys all in the next one bye